Metal Gods TV and I'm with Ben from October Far. Brilliant. Um, are you looking forward to playing here today? Yeah, I mean this is this is kind of the first um, first festival this year for us. Admittedly there haven't been that many so far but um, we're hoping to do quite a few this year so um, we're looking to get into the uh, into the swing of things. Yeah. Um, and people are say sort of comparing you to like Killing Joke and things like that. I mean that's not too bad a thing, is it? No, I mean it's it's fantastic. I mean, I wonder, um, I wonder if people compare us to that band because we toured with them and the um, Jazz Common sang on our last album. I, I wonder if it was probably more because of that than um, than the, potentially the sound. Because I mean, I I don't hear that. Yeah. I, I can't hear that. But then again, as a, as a musician, it's very difficult to um, to kind of self criticise, you know, your music and and really. I have no idea what we sound like. It, it's just difficult. I guess it's kind of a curse of being a musician, which is why whenever you ask a musician, you know, they always talk about what they like as opposed to you know their sound, and, and they and they describe their music by what they've done before and what they're trying to achieve now, rather than yeah, we sound like because you know you tend to just say yeah, we sound like Killing Joke or something like that. So yeah, I, I can I can hear tinges in there, but that's probably because um, uh, Steve, the bassist, the man, the guitarist, is like massively influenced by them. So. It is it's def, definitely a um, compliment because you know they're, they're a fantastic band. So. See, the thing is, it's, it's like when people say, "Oh, well, October, I don't, no, don't know who they are, I've not heard them before." They always need to know what they're going to sound like before they go to go and see. If you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. And um, I always used to say to people the bands that we used to tour with and stuff like that. And, and on the first album that we did, and uh, you know, bearing in mind that we're we're, we're not really a known band. Um, the, the first tours we did with people like Misfits and Dead Kennedys and, and just loads of bands that yeah yeah do you know what I like I remember talking to Steve about it just yesterday as we, we were driving up here and I said to him um, I said I, I'm, not, I'm not a massive punk fan um, I, I like the music but I'm, I'm, I would say it was like my core and uh, I'm kind of happier to be to be gigging with sort of heavier bands like Fear Factory and, and just just heavy bands and things like that so it's um it's all good. And uh, have you promoting a new album at the moment or anything like that? Yeah, so we're um, we're doing um, so on the Fear Factory tour. We did some of the some of the new album. We're playing um, a little bit more of the, the new album tonight because we've got a little bit longer than we did with them. Um, playing a bit of it, and then when the album comes out in April, we're looking to just uh, crack on and do some good shows and, and hopefully do Sonosphere and download and, and some of those festivals as well. So, and I think we're doing Bloodstock as well. So. So uh, just not many that you're missing, really, is there? No, no, I mean, no, I mean, but as a kid, you know, you kind of, I mean, Sonosphere wasn't around when I was a kid, um, but things like downloads, I've always wanted to do. I like as a as a musician, I always always had five things I wanted to do, and that was some of them were like uh, go on a tour bus, which is really childish but fantastic fun, um, play the story, have a track on the radio, have something on video, uh, um, on TV and stuff like that. Just these little things, you know, that you know, tend to just get absorbed by most people that do it every day but it's um yeah it's pretty cool and when you're touring obviously you're in, uh, confined a lot in tour buses and whatever else who's the one who get loses the rag first mostly probably our bass player steve you know he's a six foot four glaswegian boxer so uh you know don't take much you know a couple of liters of whiskey and he's he's usually bouncing off the walls but you know we're we're we're, we're a pretty good bunch you know we get on very well and you know we've, we've had some trouble with drummers before and we've gone through quite a few of them um but you know we've kind of we've kind of found our, our four as you like so well, drummers have got a reputation for being a bit mad anyway i don't know what it is about drummers um you know, I usually always thought it was like singers that were the most difficult people, but um, no, we just, I think we've gone through three drummers so far, so it's not too bad in like seven years, so, you know, it's like one every two years. And what do you guys d uh, do to get your own space while you're out on tour? So, when we, um, we, we, we got a bus for the Fear Factory tour, just because it was quite, you know, it was important for us to be promoting this album kind of competently, so we your exact statement you know we need our own space so we thought a, a bus would actually be quite a good idea and that sounds funny to c confine yourself to a bus but actually this I mean this thing was nicer than my house for God's sake um, and you've got so much space on it that you can just while people are inside just you know drinking you can go and sit on the bus and play some Xbox or just go wandering off somewhere and because you're at the venues early you know you can just kind of just just do your own thing so it kind of it just happens um we tend to all just kind of go our separate ways and do stuff anyway so it's um never becomes you don't get cabin fever that often 
uh, unless you're in a transit van for like six, seven hours, in which case that is, you know, that's that's when you all start getting a bit on each other's nerves. And speaking of Xbox, what's your favourite game? Oh, hey, it has to be the the T-shirt and Mountain Man, Modern Warfare 2. Although I, I've gone through about four controllers because I keep throwing them at the walls. <laughs> I get killed by some like three-year-old in America. Um, no, I play as much as I can, um, but it's um, you know I'm trying to get Steve into it, and Matt's Matt's a PlayStation man, but won't hold that against him. I don't think John's played a computer game in his life, but uh, you know it's, it's all good fun. And finally, have you got anything that you could say to the guys out there that would want them to come and see you? Just come down, have an open mind. If you, if you like heavy music, come and listen to us. Um, just just come and have a listen. If you like it, fantastic. If you don't, then hey, at least you know not to go to a gig again. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers.